all right good morning 11th class is the python window visible and the question also all right so this is the output question related to your uh, tuple and uh, let us have discussion on this uh, you have been given the tuple uh, go from the very first statement and uh, i request everyone to open a rough notebook in front of you and on your videos and the focus of the camera must be on the rough notebook videos must be on and the focus of the camera must be on the notebook uh we have a tuple over here only one child has on the video arshdeep singh riddhi divanshi uh we have a tuple one then we have a nested tuple nested ke andar ek aur nested tuple uske andar ek aur nested tuple nested ke andar nested ke andar nested tuple right print length of x now this tuple is just like this this is one first element of tuple x then second element is nested tuple second element jo x ka hai that is itself a tuple okay then first element of then second element of second tuple is itself a tuple then it is in turn a tuple ye ho gaya ek tuple sorry this is one tuple which i am shading this is another tuple nested tuple and this is again a nested tuple right and this complete is x this complete tuple is x now what is the length of tuple according to you think carefully and tell me what is the length of tuple according to you yes please come with your answers mannat yes mannat what are your views so to explain so uh, uh, it is a nested tuple uh, uh, at index 0 we have one and yeah. at index 2 we have uh, another tuple not index so it is treated as uh, this is so it is treated as an element this is first element of tuple having index 0 this is second element of tuple though it is itself a tuple but at a time it is treated as one single element of x beshak ye apne aap mein tuple hai lekin abhi ke liye ye ek element hai a nested structure is considered as one element when taken inside another structure so length is 2 so first answer you got is 2 okay main yahan pe likh raha hu answers 2 x1 of 0 x1 of 0 this complete is x1 the portion which i have shaded is x of 1 this in turn is x of 0 this is x of 1 of 
ये वन ऑफ जीरो है ये वन ऑफ वन है नाउ आंसर इज वेरी मच स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड आई हैव सीन द दिवानशी वीडियो आई थिंक शी हैज गिवन टू आंसर नेक्स्ट थर्ड स्टेटमेंट प्रिंट टू इन एक्स प्रिंट टू इन एक्स यस दिवानशी वॉट आर योर व्यूज सर इट इज ट्रू ओ हाउ 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 नो बच्चे unless and until 2 is independent element it will never be true wo true tab hoga agar 2 ek independent element hai x ka par 2 yahan par nested hai to usko hum element nahi maan sakte so it is false it is false have you understood the logic all of you first of all tell me how many are attending the class i can see video of three students on so yahan bhi video on hai okay kavya is not in the lecture yuvraj is not in the lecture chirag is not in the lecture ashutosh kaliya is not in the class ध्रुव सोनिक अनमोल जपजोत ध्रुव सोनिक आर यू हेयर इन द क्लास ध्रुव सोनिक रोल नंबर फोर्टीन ऑफ इलेवेंथ आर यू हेयर इन द क्लास यस प्लीज अनमोल सिंह रोल नंबर फाइव आर यू हेयर इन द क्लास Dhruv is not there in the class. Just name is visible. Japanjot Singh, Japanjot Singh, Pragati Asis Harnoor Kaur, eleventh A. Chirag Ahuja, are you here in the lecture? All right. Now coming to this tuple. This is another tuple. Uh, first element of Y. second element of y third element of y in the sec this this complete is the second element this complete is the second element of y question is bit confusing i am Uh, speaking very slow so that you people get into your uh, brain what i want to say to you guys this is third independent element of y now tell me length of y mayank yes mayank sir 3 3 okay so it is 3 length of y of 1 length of y of 1 first of all tell me what is y of 1 yes the uh, riddhi bete y of 1 kya hai so ye 2 3 4 and uh, what is the length 3 ओके वाय टू प्लस फिफ्टी 
y of 2 is added with 50. Yes, my young. 55. 55. Okay, coming to the z tuple. 2, first element 2. Second element is this. Okay. This complete is the second element. This is the third independent element of Z. Now tell me the length of Z. Oh, so many hands are raised. Uh, yes, Yashika. Sir, three. Very good, Yashika. Good. Keep it up. Three. चलो जी अब आता है मेन मुद्दा ये वाला ये आपको कंफ्यूज करेगा इसको ध्यान से देखो बस ऑल ऑफ यू पे हंड्रेड परसेंट फोकस ऑन दिस स्टेटमेंट ये थोड़ी सी कंफ्यूजिंग लग रही है आपको z ब्रैकेट z ब्रैकेट z ऑफ जीरो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इसका सिनेरियो क्या है आई जस्ट टाइप इट हेयर Z उसके अंदर Z उसके अंदर Z उसके अंदर Z का जीरो ओके क्लियर पहले इस Z ऑफ जीरो को देखो इनर Z ऑफ जीरो दैट इज टू ओके okay. तो ये बन गया ये अब z ऑफ टू क्या है z ऑफ टू क्या है z ऑफ टू इज वन ये वाला वन विच आई हैव शेडेड अब z of one, finally z of one, this is z of one, clear? This complete which I have shaded is z of one, okay? Got it? So it is one. कॉमा टू कॉमा वन ये ये पूरा आंसर है ठीक है बेटे चेक इट आउट कंपेयर द आंसर विद द आंसर वी हैव चॉक आउट रेड इंक वाले हमारे आंसर्स हैं एंड दिस इज द आउटपुट गिवन बाय द पाइथन कंपेयर इट It's a very good output question. I found this question because uh, uh, it demands the interaction with the students. So when we interact, we get to know more clarity about the question. And I want you should I want you to be clear with the concept before entering twelfth class. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? All right. Moving over to the next question. Now we have another question. This one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah. All of you, please see this question now. Tuple one is first this element. This is the first element and the last element. Okay. So, our jo ek tuple hai, uske andar ek nested tuple 
एक एलिमेंट है हमारे इस चप्पल में एक ही एलिमेंट है और जो एलिमेंट है वो अपने आप में एक टप्पल है एम आई क्लियर इलेवेंथ वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से वी हैव वन एलिमेंट विच इज इट सेल्फ अ टप्पल बट राइट नाउ इट इज ट्रीटेड एज वन एलिमेंट नाउ दिस एलिमेंट इज रेप्लीकेटेड सेवन टाइम्स seven times replication it becomes this okay seven times isko likho five ho gaya aur ye seven 3 3 6 and 1 7 okay got it प्रिंट टी वन दिस इज टी वन ये हमारा पहला आंसर आ गया टी वन फर्स्ट आंसर टी वन सेकेंड लाइन प्रिंट लेंथ टी वन थ्री ऑफ एट थ्री एट एक टपल की स्लाइस दी है उसने इट हैज गिवन द स्लाइस ऑफ द टपल स्लाइस इज थ्री कोलन एट नाउ थ्री कोलन एट मीन्स वॉट Starting from third, moving till eighth. Up eighth, मतलब less than eighth. That is seven. Make the indexing of it. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. ओके गॉट इट सेवन हो गए ना हमारे नाउ इट इज सेइंग थ्री टू एट एट मींस लेस देन वन दैट इज सेवन तो मेरा सिक्स मेरा सेवन ही है तो कितने आ गए इसमें ये वाले कवर हो गए ये चारों कवर हो गए राइट right? These four are covered. What is the length of these four? Four. So our next answer is four. Okay, got it. Then come here, B part. There is a string python enclosed in round bracket. you are to replicate it and after doing the replication you are to justify the data type of it what is the role of type function anyone can tell me you did this function in the pt1 exams what is the role of type function again the same hands सेम थ्री हैंड ऑलवेज ऑलवेज एंड ऑलवेज यस गुरु सिरत सर स्ट्रिंग यस वेरी गुड बट बेटा जी आई एम आस्किंग द रोल ऑफ टाइप फंक्शन सर इट टेल्स द टाइप ऑफ द वट एवर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इट टेल्स द डेटा टाइप ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट वेरी गुड so first answer will be python 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 okay and the data type will be string it will be string right so let us check the output check it all of you please check it compare the python answers with our answers okay i have one question over here ab kya hoga i put 
comma after python python then i put one comma what will happen now yes ashutosh sir ab tuple ho jayega very right good theek hai 11th class the more you interact with the question the more concept will get clear the more changes you make in the question the more programming skills will get clear hamesha question mein na changes karke dekho ki agar main ye wala change karta hu to kya change aata hai what effect it will have on my output the more you will interact the more better it is samidhi you want to ask some question unmute yourself if you have any query sir maine puchna hai ki jo apne length of t1 328 kiya main sir uska answer 4 kaise aaya tuple kitni baar replicate kiya hai सर बट उसके इंडेक्स तो सेवन तक जाए नहीं रहा उसके इंडेक्सिंग तो सिक्स तक ही हुए बस जीरो से सिक्स सेवन ही हो गई क्या हो गया तुम्हें जीरो से सिक्स क्या होता है सेवन हो गया ना बेटे uh after going through this question i have another question for you people oh sorry i was to open the file uh this okay yeah all of you please go through this program go through this program carefully don't see the coding just read the question i think this is one of the menu of your project also if i am not wrong this is one of the menu of your project am i clear now what actually the question is the examiner is saying that you create a tuple which contains name of the students and then you check that whether this particular name exist in your tuple or not पहले आप एक टपल बनाइए जिसके अंदर स्टूडेंट्स के नाम हो उसके बाद आप किसी एक पर्टिकुलर नाम को सर्च करेंगे वेदर दैट नेम एग्जिस्ट इन योर टपल और नॉट हाउ मेनी हैव अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन ओके ओनली टू स्टूडेंट अंडर समृद्धि एंड आशुतोष we have a list empty list with the name names you can take any name i have declared an empty list having the name names then ask the user how many names he or she want in the list the total number of names the user want 5 6 7 8 10 12 ask that amount that total size from the user and allocate it to the variable x then run the for loop up till the x up till the size start entering the first name since name is of string type so i have used here the input function 
in order to get the name inputted by the user because the name is a string and input function is used to accept the string from the user via keyboard whatever input function will return it is always in the form of string as the name get input store it in the variable str and correspondingly put the str as parameter in the append function by append function anyone why append function yes divanshi wait let me give chance some other child you people always give the answer gurjot unmute yourself yes sir uh, yes sir to theek hai aap bataiye append function ka role kya hai yahan par सर जो हम इनपुट करवाएंगे स्ट्रिंग वो इनपुट हो जाएगी उसमें लिस्ट में लास्ट लास्ट से लास्ट से क्योंकि अपेंड लास्ट में एवरी वैल्यू बीइंग इनपुट एवरी वैल्यू बीइंग इनपुटेड विल बी कीप स्टोरिंग इन द लिस्ट वन बाय वन यस यस सर ओके गॉट इट so finally at the end of the loop i am ready with my list names meri names ki list ready ho gayi but examiner is asking us to create a tuple so what i have done i have converted my uh this uh, name list as tuple मैंने अपने नेम्स की लिस्ट को टपल में कन्वर्ट करके एंड में डाल दिया ओके एनी वन टेल मी द रोल ऑफ दिस टपल मेथड आई वॉन्ट सम डिफरेंट चाइल्ड टू आंसर यस काव्य sir it will convert the uh, list into a tuple it will convert every object taken as parameter to tuple now tuple we have displayed okay now ask the user which name he want to check wo kis naam ko check karna chahta hai us naam ko enter karwaiye and assign the name to variable y if y in n use the membership operator whatever name has been inputted by the user okay using the membership operator check whether that name exists in your tuple or not if yes print the message name exist else sorry no such name exist right how many names you want five enter name aditya enter name ashutosh enter name divanshi enter name riddhi enter name kavya okay ye dekho tuple ban gaya now which name we want to check we want to check the name of riddhi whether name exist or not yes name exist am i clear with the code to all of you any doubt any queries all right 
now uh, after this i would like to proceed to the next chapter that is your dictionary chapter tapal we have finished now let us go with the dictionary chapter okay dictionary uh no doubt we have covered this chapter already but i am going to re revise this chapter and in this chapter i'll be going very slow because so many concepts are there okay so be attentive be regular and wherever you have doubt you can uh, interrupt me by raising hand or your thumb i will unmute you dictionary is an unordered my first word is unordered no ordering is there no indexing is there unordered collection of elements but elements of dictionary are represented by key value pairs the elements of dictionary are represented by key value pairs you have a key corresponding to key you have its value okay no indexing is there in the dictionary as in string as in tuple as in list where we used to have indexing forward and backward positive and negative there is no such indexing in the dictionary dictionary elements are indexed via their keys internally okay got it so how we represent a dictionary name of the dictionary equal to opening curly bracket key colon symbol its value comma key colon symbol its value comma key colon symbol its value comma again a key its value and close the curly bracket and display your key value pairs so dictionary elements are enclosed inside the curly braces as in comparison to list and tuple where elements were enclosed in square bracket and round bracket dictionary elements are enclosed inside the curly braces this is the empty dictionary empty curly braces represents the empty dictionary okay got it clear to everyone i make one uh, more dictionary here roll number 1 name anpit grade plus 1 <coughs> check it out clear